Hello, good afternoon everyone. This is again Dr. Farooq from ER Skill Lab UK. I'm one of the emergency medicine specialists and actually today we are standing right in front of one of the highest uh, educational institutes in the United Kingdom, this is Cambridge University. Anyway, today I'm going to ask, uh, answer one of the basic questions that everybody, uh, a lot of people tend to ask me. How did I pass MRCAM in six months? All three parts, MRCAM primary, intermediate and MR Kamilski in six months. This is probably very few people, even in this country, could have accomplished in six months. So let me tell you the secrets. There are only three things I would like to mention. First is, do you have the mindset on emergency medicine? You have the perfect mindset. Have you been working in emergency medicine? How dedicated are you? Do you love emergency medicine? That's one. Secondly, I would say, do you have a mentor? Have you ever asked anyone to become your mentor or something? Yes, that's the second thing. Third, do you have skills? Have you applied your knowledge? Have you tried to teach emergency medicine to someone else? These three things. I'm going to elaborate a little bit. So for me, my mindset is started from United States while I worked. Uh, in a level one trauma center for uh, three years as an emergency medicine research physician, I've seen the best, the best in the world. So that was a 65 plus bed emergency medicine level one trauma center, uh, you know, it, that includes like 24 seven, all specialty, all consultants in house. And this is one of the best first exposure for me in emergency medicine. That let me more focus on this specialty and i made me fall in love with this specialty and then also in bangladesh i continue working in emergency medicine and i liked it i like to learn myself and teach other people as well and then in 2015 i, I met my first mentor who is dr shokas zaman and he is, was a wonderful one of the best mentor i ever had in emergency medicine who already had mr part a and part b by the time and who came and joined me as our seniors uh, at United Hospital and worked with us for eight months. With him, I started this skill lab and I continued it for two years teaching everyone. So all the, all the mindset with the right person, I just need the trigger from the mentor and then I was on my own running skill lab for two years. By the time I came to UK, I might, I'm almost ready. Sitting for the exam, it didn't take me much. I, I used to work and the study, a little bit study at the same time. For African primary, I guess I only have six days of annual leave and a and couple of reviews uh, here and there for primary, which was one of the easiest exam for me, I think. Intermediate, again, after two, three months, I sit for the exam, I passed easily, but then it's a bit difficult unless you have experience in anesthesia, pediatric, some other specialist that you're not really familiar with. MR Kamoski that I practiced while I was working in UK. If, if, if you are not working in UK, in this setup, you don't know, you're not oriented with this emergency department setup, how it works, it might be a bit difficult for you, you know. But there is also some Brumley uh, courses on emergency. Uh, uh, MRK Mosque as well, which I think really helpful sometimes. So, overview again. So, find if you have a good mindset, you have, have you worked in emergency medicine? Second, uh, find a good mentor, find a good training, or, or try to teach someone through skill lab. All these three might help, which actually, all these three have helped me to pass MRK three parts in six months very smoothly for I will teach you more in my next video so I'm, I'm thinking about making some uh, FRK primary uh, intermediate and OSCE related clinical videos as soon as I can any questions any comments you can always ask me it's, it's I really love to teach you guys but don't forget to subscribe to my ER skill lab channels you're gonna see a lot more videos coming up thank you so much see you next bye